Well, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to episode three of Fan Mail of the Week. My name is Alex, everybody, and let's not waste any time. Let's go right into our first question, everybody, and it is from X Jackie Jakey Jakey X. I'm sorry if I did not pronounce your name right, but your question is: Would you help out a smaller channel if you liked their content? Um. Yeah, honestly, I have. I have done it before. I've helped other people before. Um, granted, uh, once you get somebody, once you get somebody to a certain level, they don't appreciate you as much anymore. But I don't have anything against anybody who has a smaller channel. I'll help anybody out. It doesn't really matter as long as you're uh, consistent and as long as your content is good. Um, as you guys saw in my previous episode, I did I did plug somebody in. So I don't have a problem with helping other people out. So uh, as long as you're dedicated, like I said, and you have good material, uh, the sky the limit. Uh, anyways, on to question number two, which is by Fuzz Fizz Wiz. Mm-hmm. And uh, their question is, will you marry me? Um, if you're a girl, let's go for it right now. We'll marry right here on YouTube. Uh, I'll, I'll create some sort of a ring out of construction paper and I'll just send it to you or something. Then we can get married and have like 10,000 kids. You know, wink, wink. <laughs> anyways, guys, on to question number three. Which is from, was that, Nut Job Boss? Wait, Nut Jobs. Nut Jobs. Oh, God. <laughs> Nut Jobs. And Mr. Nut Jobs' question is Hey, Alex, you're the coolest YouTuber ever, and I just want to know by any chance if an iPhone can make gameplay videos. Thanks. Well, I thank you for your comment. Um, as for your question, hell no. iPhones are not made for recording gameplay. You know, they're not really made for that. Um,. If you're looking for a specific device that's going to record you some good gameplay, uh, check out the Black Magic Intensity or the Elgato. Um, as for mobile devices, I would not recommend it because, number one, your quality would come out shitty. The sound would come out shitty. And, um, I mean, hell, the way I started off back in my day when I first did YouTube videos, I started off with a pocket camera. You know, I put my camera, you know... On top of a bunch of freaking game cases and that's how I started doing it until I uh, you know started doing some research on how to record gameplay videos and whatnot and I lo I, I lo and behold I found capture cards so uh, for the iPhone I wouldn't recommend it so much but if you want a capture card device just definitely look up one of those two that I just mentioned but uh, thank you for your question though and on to question number four which is from Matt murders gaming hmm you sound diabolical you sound like you're gonna kill me right now Please don't kill me. And their question is, Hey Alex, only been a subscriber for about a month, and I already think your videos are the best. Oh, thank you. Now I have two questions for you, Dimbolical smiley face. First, if I make a map on Far Cry 3 on PS3, can you play it or do I have to get it for Xbox? If so, I have to get it on Xbox. That is, what am I going to have to do? Okay, I see where you're coming at. And um, your second question is, I am trying to be a YouTuber like you are at the minute. Uh, and, and so far, it's not going very good. Uh, uh, and I know you'll probably get a lot of these, but maybe could you give me some pointers and a shout out? Uh, I don't mind if you do or not, but it's up to you, bro. Peace out, smiley face. P.S. Keep doing your Far Cry 3 survival. It's better than the Rad Brad and Toby's videos. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, thank you a lot, bro. It really means a lot to me. To answer your first question, um, I don't have a PS3, honestly. But um, if you do make a map, the best way I could say that I would be able to get it on the Xbox is if, number one, you have an Xbox. Number two, if you have Far Cry for the Xbox. And number three, if you are able to specifically create your map by following instructions and making sure that the validations are good and being able to upload that map into the uh, map editor community all you have to do pretty much is tell me the name and uh, when you go into the map editor archive for the multiplayer section of Far Cry 3 um, you're able to look up people's maps and from there all I have to do is just download it and once I download it bada bing bada boom we go right into it so that's the best way I can explain it to you and um as for your second question, um, I can definitely give you a shout out, everybody. For those of you out there watching this, check out Matt Murders Gaming. Uh, for pointers, honestly, for pointers, for pointers, for pointers, um, dedication, brother. It, it's always if you're dedicated about something and you love what you do, you just you don't stop like ever. 
like ever. You could ask Paul. When I first started, I put out maybe 10, 15 videos a day, and I'm still doing that till this day. Uh, it's not because I want to get more videos out there. It's because I really want to show you guys what I'm doing on a daily basis or what I'm doing on my free time. Um, granted, the only free time I have is during the night. So what I would suggest is whenever you're free, just uh, sit there. Go on and just put out the best stuff you can possibly put out by putting good tags as well in the videos. And um, pretty much from there, making sure that your channel is stable. Um, just interact with your fans because it's always the best. I interact with all of you guys. And um, I, I just love to hear from a lot of you. And uh, you know, as for pointers, just keep putting out content no matter what. You know, even if you have about, say for example, you have 70 videos and only 100 views, right? That doesn't mean, you know, you have to give up necessarily. You just have to keep out putting, just keep putting out more stuff. And um, eventually, you know, you'll run across that one person like myself or whatever, and they'll help you out. And from there, you can just uh, take the ball and run with it. But thank you for your comments and for your question. Now, on to the next question, which is from April Carter. And, oh, it's a chick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, and her question is, Alex, oh my god, I really hope you read this message. Uh, I'm sure you must get tons of mail from people, but I just wanted to ask you three simple questions that I wish you can answer for me, sad face. Aww. Okay, okay, I'll answer all three of your questions. Um, question number one, will you please show us how you look like? Oh boy, uh, hearing your voice makes you sound hot. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm a chick, by the way. Well, I hope you are. Uh, in case you thought I was a guy, oh boy. Uh, question number two, how old are you? And question number three, my last question is, will you be getting the white PS3 or wait for the PS4? Okay. Thank you so much. I am a big fan and always will support you. Love you. Oh, I love you too, sweetheart. You're making me brush. You're making my dinosaur rise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, if you guys want to know how I look like, there you go, right there. That is how I look like, guys. Yeah, I know my voice is, it, it does not really make me sound like how I look, but you know what? That's how I look, everybody. That is me. If you want to see more of me, guys, check out my second channel at Evolution Chronicles. There you will see me doing, you know, workout videos and my wrestling videos and all that kind of stuff. But yes, that is how I look like right there. Uh, in terms of how old I am, I just turned 21 on January 11th. Yes, thank you very much for those of you out there who are wishing me belated happy birthdays. And to answer your last question, will I be getting a white PS3? Um, I was actually contemplating it, but you know what? At this point, if the PS4 comes out next year, then um, most likely, then yeah. If the PS4 drops this year, then hmm, probably not. I'm going to save up for the PS4. But um, in terms of getting the white PS3, if the PlayStation 4 does come out next year, then yes. If it comes out this year, then no. But nonetheless, thank you for your question, April. And I, I do hope that uh, I fulfilled any of your fantasies that you have always wanted to uh, be fulfilled. <laughs> Anyways, uh, on to our next question, which is by BoyCore17. And his question is, I want to start uploading videos. What do I need? I want to upload audio commentary to my videos so at least a mic do i need to get a hd pvr or what it is for the ps3 any input would be great best youtuber by the way thank you for your comments um you want to start uploading videos uh you really don't need an hd pvr unless you really want to but to answer your question like i did the previous guy who asked me about this um you can either get a elgato or a black magic intensity um, that right there, you can upload both audio and video. Uh, you do need a mic, of course. You do need an HD mic. You can't just upload, uh, you know, commentary that sounds like somebody just took a shit on themselves. You know what I mean? Uh, both the Blackmagic and the Elgato work great with the uh, PS3 and Xbox. Um, so my input for it would be just go for one of those two yeah it's expensive in a sense but you know what at the end of the long run um it is definitely worth it if you want some great videos and whatnot and uh nonetheless just those two are the best you could get a hd pvr but that's really entirely on you i'm not really familiar with the product so i can't really you know have my input on that but nonetheless that is the answer for your question and on to the last question which is by gwam gaming and his question is Hey Alex, my name is Alex, you stole my name. 
Hmm. <laughs> no, bitch. You stole my name. And I love your videos. Oh, thank you. I keep refreshing my iPhone all day till one of your new videos comes up. Oh, wow. That's what you call dedication. Thank you. Uh, I don't see why you are not more popular in the YouTube community. Well, well what can I say? Um... Now, on your GTA videos, you keep asking which is better, Saints Row or GTA. Could you go into detail and tell us which one you enjoy better? Keep being awesome, brothers, because I wish to follow in your footsteps. Wow, that is really, uh, that's really touching. Thank you so much for that. Um, GTA or San Andreas, good God. Um, all right, let me just, let me put this the best possible way I can. Grand Theft Auto 4 had a great story. It had a great, great story, but once you were playing the game, once you were done with the game, whatever, it became boring. Um, you know, Saints Row 2 and 3, they were really good. Um, granted, Saints Row 2 had an online, but I don't think it was better than Grand Theft Auto 4's. Saints Row 3 did not, which was very disappointing. I wanted to play multiplayer on Saints Row 3, and I could not. Um, that was a big disappointment for me. So as of right now, as of today, as of this day, in January of 2013, I would say I would much rather have fun on Saints Row than GTA. But when Grand Theft Auto V drops, I am 100% sure that I am going to have much more fun in GTA V than I ever will in Saints Row 3 or Saints Row 2, or Saints Row 1, and the only reason why I say Saints Row 3 is a lot more fun than GTA 4 is because Saints Row 3 offers that, you know, wacky, tacky, dynamic feature where you're able to beat people with dildos, and you're able to uh, just pretty much unleash chaos with all the, we all the weapons you got, and, and the story cinematics, it was, it was good and whatnot, but the story itself was just, eh, it didn't really... It didn't really have a good story, I mean, nonetheless, but the gameplay was good. Um, as, like I said, as of January of 2013, I prefer Saints Row over GTA in terms of having fun. Um, you know, but in terms of story and whatnot, I'd much rather give it to GTA because Saints Row's story isn't really eh, up there. Um, you know, I don't know, it's just when Grand Theft Auto 5 and Saints Row 4 drop, we're going to have to see which one is more fun because both games, I'm sure, are going to be a fucking juggernaut of a game, but... Nonetheless, thank you for your comment. Um, you want to follow in my footsteps, honestly, I really do appreciate that. But um, in order for you to do that, it's you have to just dedicate yourself to whatever it is you're doing. Um, yeah, it, there's going to be a lot of bumps and you know bruises uh, down the road, but that 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 just comes with the success. You know what I mean? You just you can't give up on anything you do. Um, I see that you have uh, you posted a video saying for the third part twenty. I have the tire. So I'm definitely going to watch that. Um, but thank you all. Thank you all for your questions, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Um, remember, episode four of Fan Mail of the Week will be next Saturday, guys. Submit your questions. Uh, the Royal Rumble is actually tomorrow. I cannot wait to watch that, WWE's Royal Rumble. Um, but I digress. Uh, just, guys... Send me your questions. I will definitely answer it in episode four. Uh, thank you all for your questions, by the way. I hope I gave you guys as much uh, advice and as much input as I possibly could. Um, thank you all once again. And uh, don't forget to submit your questions for next week's episode. On that note, everybody, my name is Alex. If you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest news, information, and updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, if I answered your questions correctly, please give this video a like. Rape, molest, sodomize that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will be seeing each and every single one of you guys in another episode. Take care, everybody. God bless. Peace.